Ladies and gentlemen, being heralded as one of the toughest fighters ever to step into the ring and exemplifying all that which makes living in the great United States of America just that and more, the Predator, Don Fry! And in this corner, having lost only once before in his entire career, rising from the depths to settle a few 50 years in the making, the King of Monsters, Gogeta! It's about damn time I put in a shitty skit in the beginning of one of my review videos, don't you think? Just about everyone's done it but me! So now that we've got that out of the way, and I don't expect to ever do very many more of them, uh, let's get into the review. It was a bit unconventional intro, but that's mainly because this is a bit of an unconventional review. Because this is a custom figure I made, and by I made I mean I broke a whole bunch of toys and put them together because I can't make figures. What do I look like, creative or something? You know, YouTubers aren't creative! <laughs> Anyway, this custom uses the deluxe UFC Don Fry figure for the base. It is made of a plastic that is a bit harder and shinier than compared to most of the modern WWE figures for comparison. Oh shit. Oh, my pop filter. It also features shoulder joints that allow for the arm to tuck in in front of his chest for appropriate blocking and other MMA stances. It's the only figure I've seen that has these joints, and unfortunately I can't show it to you because once I pose my figures, I don't pose them again, and like hell am I going to remove that coat. His coat comes from the WWE Network Spotlight figure, Finn Balor, and is made of a malleable rubber. Though as you can see, uh, Don Fry's chest and back are so muscular and robust that to fit inside the jacket I had to cut it in half. The tooth is completely handcrafted and painted from clay, and lastly, the sword comes from the Pulp Fiction figure of Butch by Diamond Select. I also touched up some of the paint on the hair and the mustache because, as with most figures, the paint's never quite how you want it. Now let's sail into the history of this figure. Warning, there be spoilers infested waters ahead. Don Fry plays Captain Gordon in the movie Godzilla Final Wars and stands as one of the few actually likable and memorable characters from the entire franchise. And it's not just a coincidence either, Don Fry's character is explicitly written to be awesome and admirable, and the film takes extra measures to ensure that the audience takes note of that. Within the first five minutes, Don Fry not only successfully disables and defeats Manda, but also completely obliterates its body using the Mazer from the Gotengo. It's then later revealed that he himself is the man responsible for freeing the world from Godzilla for 50 years when he shot the missiles that buried and froze Godzilla in the ice. And if that wasn't enough, in addition to that, he also defeats highly advanced aliens in hand-to-hand -hand combat, resulting in one of the best movie scenes of all time, shown here. Yeah. Sorry, sweetheart. And to top it all off, he alone speaks in English throughout the entirety of the film because they wanted to emphasize beyond any shadow of a doubt just how American this hero was. Oh shit. Oh, my pop filter again! Who can say where the wind blows? Okay, uh. As for how I came to make this custom, one day when I was showing a friend Godzilla Final Wars, as it's one of my favorite movies, it suddenly occurred to me that there was probably a figure of Don Fry since he was such a famous MMA fighter. Once I found the figure, I quickly began searching stores all over for supplies and even got someone to help me with stitching the black shirt and pants, since I have absolutely no sewing skills. These are not the things that the pirate learns <laughs> upon his voyages. The hardest part was getting a coat for him. I wanted arm movement so it had to either be super flexible material or be sleeveless, and I went with the latter. After searching for a bit, Finn Balor's seemed to be the best choice, even though I knew I'd probably have to cut that lubber in half to make it fit. 
In the end, I've created a figure that I feel represents Captain Gordon fairly well from almost any angle that doesn't prominently feature the back, you know, with the, with the gigantic gap. Now let's sail on to the seaworthiness test. 10 out of 10, 28 out of 28, what the hell did you expect? He is the captain of a submarine. It doesn't get any more seaworthy than that. He even defeated Godzilla in battle, and Godzilla's aquatic. By that reasoning, since Godzilla was the most powerful aquatic creature, and Don Fry defeated him, that would make Captain Gordon the most powerful aquatic creature. So let it be said, so let it be sailed. Listen, kid. There are two things you don't know about the Earth. One is me, and the other is Godzilla. Hey!